Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. We are here with part number seven. Last time we left things off in the middle of a route, which is very unusual for me and it feels illegal. I like to leave things off in the middle of the Pokemon Center, but we left off here as we were running out of time. But as for our team, garbage. <laughs> there we go, caught up. <laughs> Normally I would like to do a team recap, but uh, our team is still yikes. So we're kind of just going to get straight back into it. We're going to go back to battling. We're going to get everyone the XP that they need. We're gonna battle these trainers. We're gonna head up this way to get all the optional items, and we are going to continue on our journey to find good Pokemon because it's been a tough, tough journey to start things off. But we should be able to deal with a Marowak at least because we have a flying type, and I don't. Okay, I could be jinxing myself, but I don't think Marowak has any rock type moves. Ever? Definitely not until late game, because I've used Marowak early game in a lot of different generations, and it never has a Rock-type move. Watch me be wrong on this one, but I'm going to just Silverwind, because I don't think it can do any real damage to me, other than if it has, like, Crash or something like that, but I don't think it would have it at that level. Plus, we get the Silverwind boost. Okay, it's a good day. It's a good day. We're starting things off in a great, great mood. Our attack gets lowered the growl but you know what that's actually fine we're probably just going to use our special moves anyway because i want to sell point things so it is what it is if they could go ahead and send out like i don't know mewtwo right now so i could sell the window for the xp with the special attack and special defense boost a kakuna okay well okay honestly Probably don't need the Silverwind boost for that. Unfortunately, my Silverwind boost was entirely useless. I'm just going to go into Elgin because, you know what? It needs the XP more than anything else on my team, and this is something it can actually fight. I'm not... I'm not warming up to Elgin as much as I am the other Pokemon on my team. Like, Beautifly right now? I am warmed up to. I am happy that we have this Beautifly right now. I really am. Because with Silverwind and Pluck, it actually has half-decent stab moves, and that makes me happy. Everyone else, eh, <laughs> especially Algium, eh. The rule of a Pokemon battle is simple. You see, rule one, battle. Rule two, win. I'm pretty good at rule number one. Rule number two has me worrying for the future of my team. We will see, we will see. Also, when we get to it, I don't want to do it right at the start, but when we get about halfway through the episode, I have a fun question of the day today. We're trying something new, which might which might be a recurring theme, but I'm trying something new with question of the day. It could work really, really well, or it could work really, really badly. The thing is, it's going to be a little bit RNG dependent, which I think will make it fun, because I had an idea yesterday, and you know what? We're going to see how it goes, So. Maybe like every five, every five questions of the day we might do this. I don't know. It depends. It depends. But we'll get to it a little bit later. Something to look forward to. That's right. I'm teasing in a Pokemon video. I am teasing question of the day. Why am I teasing question of the day and not just doing it immediately? I don't know. I don't know. We have a TM over here though, at least, which is... Yeah, 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 we have Rocket. Yeah, 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 that's actually incredible. Hold on, this is amazing. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 not Beautifly. Hold on, I'm clicking in excitement too much. Wait, 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 wait. Never in my life have I been so happy to have a Geodude with Rockhead. I nearly replaced this. So, Geodude is going to smack things is going to smack things. I kind of wanted to keep Rock Polish, but at this point, I feel like I would rather have the option of having a 100... Well, I guess Rollout isn't 100% accurate anyway. Do I even care about Defense Curl Rollout if I can just Head Smash something? I don't think there's ever going to be a time where I'm going to be like, I should Defense Curl Rollout. <sighs> Maybe there will be. I feel like there's probably more times when I'm going to want to Rock Polish, but I'm... I'm going to replace Rock Polish and keep the Defense Curl rollout, just in case, I guess. But Head Smash on that Geodude is actually insane. I do still have the ability to swap its, um, well, ability, as I said. So we can still swap it to Sturdy if we really want to. Maybe once we get, like, Rock Slide, we could go ahead and, and swap it out. 
you're not one of the trainers that's just gonna only battle like my flying type Pokemon, right? Because those exist in this game, don't they? Isn't there trainers that only battle your flying types? And you only send out your flying types against their flying types? I think they're always on ledges. I don't think they're just like standing around, but he has kind of the, the outfit that makes me think of it. Which in a way did remind me that they even exist, which is a good thing. So that's nice. Uh, Kling Clang. I think we should be fine against this. I'm pretty sure we just swap right on out into Slugma, and we have no worries. I don't think it has anything to do Slugma. Obviously, I was not talking about fighting it with Elgim, because Elgim would get popped by literally everything in the game. It could probably have been a shock, but still. I don't need to risk it. We can just go into Slugma and be completely fine. The only downside is getting paralyzed, obviously. I don't actually think we have too much in the way of healing supplies, so if we do need to fight something immediately after with Slugma, that would suck. That would suck. So, let's hope that we don't need to. We paralyzed, okay, that's annoying, but... Let's have a boosted Thundershock, gear grind, I mean, honestly, probably scarier than the boosted Thundershock. That's gonna actually do damage. It did actually do damage, it did 12. We land the Ember, is it enough to KO? Is enough to KO. Okay. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Slugma wins this 1v1, and let's hope we don't need Slugma for the next Pokemon. Level 16. Every level that we gain gets us closer to so many evolutions. You know? It gets us so much closer to everything. It also gets us better moves. Psyche. I. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Psybeam, just an upgrade, right? I don't think I have any reason to keep confusion. Not that I'm ever going to click Growl, Miracle Eye, or Heal Block, but. I'm going to replace Confusion, because there's no reason for me to ever click Confusion when I have Psybeam. Ideally, we would get Psychic, but at least that is half a decent in the way of Stab, which is fine. As for Magby, we can just go into Pringles, and we will be A-OK. -okay. You know, I still can't believe- I'm, I'm jinxing it, by the way. I still can't believe we haven't lost anyone yet. I actually can't believe it. We've had so many close calls. I don't think we're losing anything to a Magby, but believe me, I've just set up a Legendary at the start of the next fight, ready to buff us. Uh, I am fully aware of how jinxing things work. Uh, maybe we'll even get popped by a Jinx. That'd be kind of funny if it's a jinxing things, so then we lost a Pokemon to the Jinx. That'd be like a double whammy, but... Uh, did I skip anyone? No. Is there an item over in this corner? Yes. An Abomasite. Okay. Okay. Again, every Mega Stone I pick up, I am happy about because I would like to use a Mega at some point. However, there is the issue of getting that specific Pokemon when there is, you know, 721 Pokemon in Gen 6, I believe. You tally them all up, up to this point? Like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Read your oh no. No, I was kidding about the legendary of the next fight. I was I was it was it was We don't need to actually jinx things. You know, we don't Okay. <laughs> um I'm still mostly afraid of it exploding. I do have a Geodude, which might be able to live an explosion if we needed to. If we think Pringles is going to get bombed. I'm gonna go into Pringles to start with, though, because last time we saw a Reggie, it just blew itself up. And I have no reason to change that mindset. Lock on. That should be fine. I don't think it has, like, Stone Edge at this level. It does. Uh-oh. But I'm just gonna Bubble Beam. Rock Throw. It's gonna hurt. Not too bad. That's not too bad at all. That's fine. That's fine. I also hate the fact that I predicted this Legendary appearing. Uh, I'm just going to Bubble Beam again. You would like to explode? Okay, Lock-On's also fine. That's fine. Uh, I will keep in mind that this thing did not explode, because at a certain level, I'm pretty sure they're going to stop exploding immediately. I don't know when that level is. It could be 12. I feel like Legendaries don't have the quickest learn set growth. You know, they learn a move like every 5 plus levels usually. So I'm going to say like once we're level 20, I'm going to stop expecting explosion if we even see them anymore, to be honest, but if we see any more Reggies after level 20, I will not predict Explosion anymore, but up until that point, I'm going to just assume they're going to explode. Hi, want to know why I always wear shorts when I walk through the tall grass? To feel the 
rats at your legs or something? I don't know, that sounds pretty weird to me. I don't think you should do that. You're gonna get bitten by like every kind of Pokemon. You're gonna have every kind of Poker rabies. That just sounds like a bad time. Sounds like a really bad time. Uh, could I stay in against a Gligar? Probably not, right? It's probably got either a bug or dark type move. I actually don't really know what it has. I mean, we are four levels up at this point. We could maybe stay in. I'm staying in. Harden, that's fine. That's completely fine. You can, you can harden all you want against my special attacker. I have no issues with that. That, in fact, just makes me happy. Go ahead, do it again. Fuck off. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I got dark type move. I was thinking like, hey, leech life and and knock off and stuff like that. But yeah, that, that hurt. That hurt. We're gonna we're gonna take Elgium out of the front now, because <laughs> there is always I I've said this before. There is always the risk of pursuit when you lead with a psychic type, which is on my mind. Uh, we do not have cut, so we cannot go through there. Uh, we. We do, however, oh, a little bit of a stutter. We do, however, have ourselves the new town, the Camphria town. Thank you for using the Holocaster. Lysandra Labs developed the Holocaster to make the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We hope you'll continue to enjoy the fine services this device provides. Okay. Almost like an advert on my Holocaster. What is this? What is that about? But as we have made it to a new town and we have a little bit of a lull, I'm going to go ahead, heal up our team, and we are going to do question of the day. And my question of the day is, what Pokemon is going to win this battle royale? As I go ahead and I launch the random Pokemon generator. <laughs> Like I said, this could be very RNG dependent. I have it set to generate six Pokemon from all regions. We have their sprites that will show. I'm not going to include legendaries or not fully evolved forms to try and make this as close as possible. And we're going to see what six Pokemon are going to be brawling out all against each other. And we're going to see who votes for which Pokemon. So, bam. Okay. Okay, we have some good variety here. We have some good type variety. I like that. That keeps things interesting because we've got Skeledurge that can beat Cryogonal and Shinotic. We've got Kingdra that can beat Golem Alola mostly and Skeledurge. We've got Lifehard that loses to like everything here in my opinion other than maybe Cryogonal. We've got an interesting fight here. Who do I think wins overall is the question. If these Pokemon were to have a battle royale, who do I think would win? I think Shinotic and Cryogonal are going to go down to the tanky Skeledurge before it gets bopped by Kingdra. Although I guess I guess Golem Alola gets magnitude. It does a lot for it. It's also not four times weak to water or grass. Golem Alola has a lot of power in this. Kingdra also doesn't really have a weakness unless Cryogonal has freeze dry, in which case Kingdra disappears and gets popped like a balloon. So it's between Golem Alola and Kingdra for me. I mean, Skeletor is also powerful. This is actually a pretty good <laughs> first try. I mean, I thought this was going to be, like, way worse. I think I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Golem Alola. I'm going to assume that the rest are going to fight it out. They're going to ignore the Golem Alola that's just blending in with the environment, uh, just looking like a rock in the background. It's going to throw out a massive magnitude, and it's going to bop, like, everything after Skeletor just taken out Shinotic. I'm going to give my vote to Golem Alola for who wins the Battle Royale. Let me know who you vote for down below. This is an interesting idea. Uh, it might end up with everyone voting for the same thing, and it might be less interesting than I thought. But hey, we're trying something different with Question of the Day. We're going to give it a go. But yeah, back into the world of Pokemon X and Y. Uh, for this good old Pokemon, are we seeing anything randomized? We are not, unfortunately. I do kind of want more Paralyzed Heals. I also kind of want to keep a lot of money, but there are some of these things that we need. We can't get full heals, right? No. Uh, we're going to grab a couple of super potions. I'd love to buy just 10 straight up. I, I'm poor, so I guess we're going to take 5 as they are super important still. Uh, as for Pokeballs, we still have a good amount. I'm just going to buy... I'm going to buy 10 more. I would like to buy a Great Ball for if we come across a Legendary, but... I feel like 
being able to throw more Pokeballs rather than one singular Great Ball is probably how that's going to work. It's probably more beneficial for us. Uh, name rate, we are not changing any of the nicknames of our Pokemon, and I do believe, unless this guy gives me an item, does not, I do believe we are going to just go ahead and continue. So, what do we even have around this town? Hey there, I'll give you this to tell all your friends to come to Camp Freire, okay? An Ultra Ball, okay, 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 I like that, I like that. That gives me options. Let's give me options. Uh, we have this area up here, which is the castle, right? Okay, we are at the castle. Hi, Gooba. <laughs> that, that's me. An acquaintance of yours? Two visitors to Shabano Castle? Can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, chateau if you will, was a manor house of a noble family. Maybe a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. That's why it feels so empty. The end. <laughs> That's it? Don't you have anything relating to Mega Evolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Evolution? Ah, oh, we found someone who lives under a rock. They don't know about the greatest Pokemon gimmick. So, it's back again. The Lax. Which is a static encounter, and for anyone that does not know how static encounters work, Pokemon that do not move and are guaranteed encounters in one spot are Pokemon that we can pick up in our randomized Nuzlocke journey. Because we we need them. <laughs> we need them with this team. <laughs> so I will get excited about that. I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and have a look around. We will have to do a little bit of a side quest before we get to that, though. I wonder what that's about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? I am going to check if there was anything at the back of this castle that I am forgetting. I don't think there is. I think we just see fireworks eventually up here. I don't think we actually have, like, anything too crazy in this place. Is there a back garden, or am I thinking of a different area? I'm probably thinking of a different area. We do have an item, though. An icicle plate. Okay. Okay. I mean, not useful right now, but if we come across an ice type, that is immediately usable and ice types while pretty rare there's a good chance we come across at least one in the playthrough so i'm not too upset about that item it, it could definitely could be better for right now though we could uh we could use any help we could get today bug type pokemon are giving off good vibes please show me a pokemon this bug type i have one of those hey you'd fly but us do your bug thing silver wind him wow you've got one it's putting off great vibes i'll give you a berry so pick the one you want Citrus? No citrus. Uh, give me a... Sleep sucks. We have Paralyzed Heals. We have, uh, Antidotes. Burn is pretty rare. It's very annoying when we get it. I'm gonna take a Chesto Berry. Take a good old Chesto Berry. Also, if we ever get a Pokemon that can Resto Chesto, we, we have the Chesto part, I guess. The chance of that happening? Pretty low. Again low, but still. Route 7. Can I get an encounter immediately? Uh, that's like gardens. I don't think I care about that. Uh, hi. Uber, what is it? It's a Snorlax. Mouth wide open, letting all the bugs fly in. Although I guess this is Pokemon. There's there's not really, well, there is bugs, but they're not really flying into his mouth. He, he doesn't have to worry about bugs. That's nice. <laughs> Has to worry about bugs in a different way, I guess. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Come now, sir. Use the poker flute. Oh, wait. Do you even have it anymore? Nope. I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. The palace is the place with the back gardens I'm thinking of. Huh? What? It's a poker flute. Basically, the poker flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the poker flute is currently at Parfum Palace. Oh, that's it. All we need to do is go get it then. Come on, Gooba. Let's go. <laughs> Parfum Palace is just past Route 6. And maybe in a place like that, we might learn something about Mega Evolution. Okay, but what if I went up this way for items? Priorities. A Twisted Spoon? Yeah. Yeah, we could go ahead and put that on our game immediately. Uh, we have no reason to use Wise Glasses over that, realistically. Uh, as we could just use the wise glasses on someone else. I saw that <laughs> ability capsule and I was like, oh, ability capsule, but we've already gone over that. Uh, someone else could get the wise glasses instead, which I guess will be Slugma, because Slugma doesn't really have anything else that's super useful for it. 
yeah, I guess Slugma gets the Wise Glasses to slightly boost its Ember for the time being, which, I mean, hey, it's at least usable. It is usable. We will take anything usable that we can get. Let's go to Route 6, where I believe we should be able to get ourselves an encounter. So we are going to immediately drop down to left, I guess. Can I go and can I even, I don't think I can encounter. Can I even get an encounter before I go to the other side? Do I have to run back to get an encounter? Run back to get an encounter? Gross. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. If we wait patiently for it, it means that it will be better and because we will be rewarded for waiting patiently for the encounter. You see how the logic works there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's how that's going to work. Punk's gone. Don't be mega. Don't be mega. Don't be mega. Oh. Fine. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> I can head smash this. Right? Punk's can't have anything weird like power up punch or low kick at this level. I'm going to assume not. I can head smash this. I'm head smashing this. Tail whip. That's fine. We have a lot of defense to go around. It doesn't matter if that gets lowered. Maz a little bit, but head smash. Smash. Damage. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy we have that. That's so good for us. That's actually so good for us. That's such a good move. Jirachi. Scary. Uh, how do we want to deal with Jirachi? A very interesting question. Uh, Silverwind is neutral. Ember is super effective. Pringles doesn't have a ghost type move. It has Nightshade. Okay, just reminding myself. I think... Probably just Slugma Ember. I'm not going to overthink this. I think we're just going to go, hey, fire good against Steel, and we're going to see how it goes. I'm not going to think too heavily about this. Also, only level 11, because we have fought so many legendaries that our Pokemon are getting uh, a good level lead on our opponents, despite not using the EXP Cheryl. Like, we're getting pretty pretty decently overleveled compared to them without using the EXP Cheryl. Which is why I think the EXP share is not going to be needed at all for this playthrough. So, we're probably just going to keep it off the entire playthrough. I can't imagine there will be a time where I'm feeling underleveled in Pokemon X and Y. I guess if I start skipping trainers at any point, maybe that could happen. But I don't have any plans to start skipping trainers yet. So, uh, For Infernape, I have no reason not to go into Pringles, right? This is We go into Pringles, we're immune to fighting, we resist fire. There's, there's no reason not to do this. We just bubble beam. A little bit of a stutter again. Okay, weird. Game seems to be struggling a bit. Although I also have a problem where I don't turn my PC off. Or, uh, I mean, I don't turn my 3DS, uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, uh, off for very long periods of time. It might have been like a month. I'm, I'm a bad person. But also, I don't sleep. So, I always want my computer on so it can be ready for me the second I get, like, back to playing whatever I was playing or whatever. Which, uh, is, is probably bad for the PC. But hey, I mean, I've been using this PC for like, what, four or five years now? It's already kind of done its job. <laughs> uh, I'm going to actually learn Recover over Absorb, I think. We do have potions. Well, we have potions. We do have potions. And I'm not... I'm not really going to get into a situation where I think... Recover is going to heal more HP than a super potion right now. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I don't really need it. If I was doing a run where I was saying, hey, we're banning healing items, it would be incredible. It'd be huge. But I didn't specify that at the beginning, and I'm not going to add that halfway through. Uh, maybe, maybe for like the Elite Four or something, if we get like really far in and we're having too easy of a time, we'll add more challenges for like the final fight or something. But for the most part, I'm I'm going to stick with just what we said at the beginning. Yeah, I would like to sleep. Don't get me wrong. It's just my issue is I sleep, like, two hours every two days, which is actual insanity to a lot of people. But hey, this is my life. I don't get a choice. <laughs> Believe me, I would like to sleep. I would. Sleeping would be great. But uh, I have horrible insomnia. <laughs> so that is why everything is usually so low energy here. It's usually very chill, and I don't scream. I don't remember the last time that I had, like, an outburst of any kind of large emotion. I don't remember the last time I felt angry. 
I've had, like, the funny angry of being like, I can't believe this Pokemon had this move. Wow. But, like, that's not actual anger. I don't know if I've felt actual anger in the past, like, decade. I just... I just chill. <laughs> uh, Ampharos is going to get hit by a big fat magnitude and it's going to like it. I don't think we should have too much to worry about. If it's Mega, it will be more intimidating. It is not Mega. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm just going to magnitude. I don't think we have anything to worry about too much from it. We should just be seeing like a shocking tackle at this level. So, magnitude 5. Another star. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. Honestly, still pretty good damage is because it crit. That'd be why. We even know a magnitude 4 at this point will KO it, so I have no reason to change up my moves and miss our rock-type moves because they're always so horribly inaccurate. Magnitude 6 is fine. That will be enough. All of these poor people that are walking towards this palace, this road is about to just become a fissure in the ground because we just magnituded it. Sucks to be them, but, you know, we had to get rid of the Ampharos in the way. Burnett. I don't have anything great for Burnett. And we haven't brought Sylveon out today, so I'm just going to bring out Sylveon and we're going to see how it does. It could also be Mega Burnett. This is another Pokemon that has a Mega. I've seen a lot of Pokemon that potentially have Megas. It's not Mega. Okay. All right. We do have it enabled that they can be Megas at any time. So just, just lucky, I guess. Or unlucky. Depends on if you want to see the, the Mega Evolution Sprite or not. Like with Ampharos, I honestly think seeing the Mega Evolution would have probably been lucky because we uh, weren't afraid of it, but oh well. Oh well, that's fine. Are we free to head to the palace? And by head to the palace, I mean get to this next area and then immediately dip down to the right and get ourselves an encounter? Because we could go in there right now. We could. We're not going to, though. We're going to go get an encounter on Route 6. Because that is absolutely the most important thing for me right now. Uh, Pokemon's missing a little bit of health, and I don't want it to die. So I'm going to actually go ahead and use a I don't have any normal potions. Oh, I had a couple. Uh, Better safe than sorry with this team. So I'm going to Super Potion for 12 HP. Maybe I had an orange berry. That might have also been a good idea, but oh well. And let's see what our Route 6 encounter is going to be. Okay. Okay. The positive. Megalopony slaps. The negative. Normalopony does in fact not slap. <laughs> so if we get... A Loponite, this is incredible. This is an incredible pickup if we get a Loponite. If we don't get a Loponite, this is staying in the box for all eternity. So, situationally a good Pokemon. It is fully evolved. I, I can't imagine us using this. I'm going to risk the burn even. I can't imagine us using this over anything that is currently on our team, as we have a lot of type coverage right now. It did sleep, not burn, good, and it also went below half, that's nice. Yeah, I can't imagine we would want to replace anything on our team for this. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's... I just want a powerful Pokemon, you know? I just, I just want something crazy to add to our team. I do. Okay. Uh, Lopony has made me think of bunnies because Easter was somewhat recent and it's made me think of Easter eggs. So this is actually just being called eggs. It's a little bit of a stretch. Um, but this, this is eggs. We don't have a Pokemon called eggs already, do we? I don't remember. I hope not. We did get to the name rater already, so if we did, it's fine. I don't think we have a Pokemon called eggs. Did I do this twice? That seems like... Okay. It seems kind of common. I wasn't sure. But we don't have anything on the team called it. An Assault Vest? Oh. Oh. Geodude, would you like an Assault Vest? That's an interesting idea. For sure. 
A special defense isn't great, but it would help. It would help. Uh, wise glasses, I still think is best here because we want to use yawn. Uh, it would lock us out of defense curl. I'm not clicking defense curl when I have head smash. Let's be real. Uh, it would also be very interesting on Frolish to make it really tanky. But then, Geodude currently doesn't have any item to benefit it, and this at least has Mystic Water. Uh, also, it'd be, it'd be crazy on Sylveon. I will be honest. It would be crazy on Sylveon. Sylveon's special defense going up to, like, 90 points would be insane. Um, and it would help Beautifly survive as well. Does Meadow Plate... Meadow Plate, let's be real, it's not actually helping the Beautifly at all. So I think it's either Beautifly or Geodude, and Geodude doesn't have anything to help it yet. So we'll keep it on Geodude for the time being. That is... That is a good item. That's a very good item. If we get, like, a Choice Band, I will replace the Assault Vest and move that over to Beautifly. And we will uh, go ahead and put the Choice Band on Geodude. But it's going to take an item like that that's going to make me... Uh, move that around. Let's head over to the palace, shall we? Hi. You know to climb my entry? The entrance... Oh. Ooh. Ooh, I don't have much money. See, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. I mean, that's... That's fair. Eesh, this is how the rich get richer. Even more appropriate nowadays. Here's your entrance fee. I don't have to pay, right? You're gonna pay for me? Uh, man. Man, I don't have that much money. I wonder if I had... If I had run back and not had the money to afford it, would they let you in for free? I assume they would, because it's important for, like, plot progression, and you could technically not have money. They definitely got better with, like, soft locks uh, by this point in the game. So I, I'm pretty sure they would let you in regardless if you didn't have the money. So maybe I should have ran back. I didn't remember it, first of all. But if I'd remembered, I would have actually ran back and bought more potions. Where is it? My Furfru. My beloved little Furfru has disappeared. Disappeared? Hey, Gooba. We should help look. I mean, if my if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry. Hi. And that should let us go into the garden, right? Which would be another encounter, I believe. Because I believe this place is called Parfum Palace, or Parfum Palace Gardens. I'll have a look in back. I think leaving off in front of this big statue is kind of satisfying. So I am going to leave myself in front of this statue of Reshiram to summon a Reshiram. Alright, I'm going to give it time to summon me a Reshiram for my encounter next time we play. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds good to me. I like that plan. But next time, we will go ahead and clear out the fur fruit. We will get our encounter for this garden, check out the garden, uh, head back through right, Route 6 and pick up the items there, and hopefully get ourselves our Snorlax encounter as well. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, 